Hello and welcome back to thedrinker.co.uk. I'm Pete Turner and in this little series of films I'm looking at the wines that I'm recommending from all of the different retailers in the UK in the summer going into the autumn of 2022. Um, in this film I'm looking at the wines from Morrisons uh, but you can find all of the other retailers here on uh, my YouTube channel and also via my website thedrinker.co.uk. Um, at the moment we are in the grip of a cost of living crisis so all of the wines in all of the films are priced no higher than £10. More often than not, I've tried to find wines that are much, much more affordable um, while still retaining sort of interesting character characteristics and good quality. Um, Morrison's, they kind of close, quite quietly go about their business. They've got a brilliant uh, wine, wine list, great buying team, and really good wines in this sort of sub £10 category. But if you go on the website, you can see all of my recommendations from all of their range, all the way through the price ranges. So we're going to start off with uh, Morrison's The Best Pinotage comes from South Africa, uh, from Swartland in South Africa. Um, one of the great uh, bits of geography there is it has quite good day-night temperature contrast, so really hot days, quite cool nights, and that quite often makes for interesting uh, wines and more complex uh, wines as the grapes grow. So this is Pinotage, and it's a lovely sort of a blueberry and bramble kind of nose. Mm. Oh, and it's so easy to drink. It's it's soft and approachable. There is tannin, but it's not sort of intrusive in any way. It sits really well with the with the fruit elements. Uh, this is at seven pounds a bottle, and it comes in at fourteen percent on the alcohol. So, um, so quite hefty, um, but would make a really good barbecue wine. So interesting wine at seven pounds a bottle. Super stuff to start us off with. Okay, so next up, this is called Passo comes from Sicily. Uh, any of you familiar with the terrible um, uh, novelty group Black Lace? They did a, a hit in 1985 called Collapso, Elvino Collapso. Um, and of course, this is an anagram of uh, that. Elvino Collapso. Don't go looking it up on YouTube, it's terrible. Um, but again, it's 14% in alcohol, the Elvino Colpasso, but it's nine pounds a bottle, slightly more expensive than I would normally recommend. Like I say, go on the website, you can see all my wine recommendations are a lot, lot cheaper than that. But I think this is worth every penny because it's it's big and bold and um, it's made from Nero Davola, which is a, sort of a native grape variety to Sicily. And it's got a lovely sort of black currant, blackberry kind of nose to it. Mm. And it grabs you. It grabs you by the shirt collars and shakes you. It's peppery and spicy. Black cherry comes to the fore. Um, the tannins in it are really quite ballsy, but they're not sort of uh, overbearing. Again, really good food wine. Um, the, the, the Italians do, do those food wines so very well. Quite high in acidity. It's mouth-watering, mouth-filling, refreshing. I mean, it is nine pounds a bottle, but it is fabulous. And you have got the Elvino Collapso sort of comparison. <laughs> so, so I think that's worth every penny. Again, we're still in Italy. We're still in Sicily. This is Organic Pinot Grigio. It's just labelled up as Morrison's Organic Pinot Grigio. It's not part of the best range. It's six quid. And I'm expecting it to be pretty straightforward for six quid. And it's lovely, yeah, lovely sort of flinty uh, lemon peel nose. Yeah, lemon freshness, um, but it's still got the uh, little bit of struck flint about it. Really some, some nice complexity going on there. Looks pretty basic, tastes pretty basic, buy lots, chill it well. Make a great party wine, six pounds a bottle. A lot to like there. Okay, so we are back to South Africa. Again, day-night temperature contrasts in Swartland. This is Grenache Blanc from the best uh, range. This is eight pounds a bottle. We're expecting a little bit more character to this one. And yeah, you, all of a sudden you are getting more sort of peach pear. Um, there's a little bit of unripe apricot about it. Mm. Oh man, that's good. It's fresh and easy. It sits well in the mouth. It's mouth-watering. It's racy. That's a great wine for eight quid. That's a lot of wine for the money. 
Um, they're, they're the best range that they do at Morrison's are pretty good all, all the way across. So if ever you're there and you kind of don't know what to get, go for something that's marked up as Morrison's the best. There you go, eight quid's worth of very, very good wine, Grenache Blanc. And we've got a lovely French rosé now. This uh, comes from, where's it come from? From Luberon in the Rhone Valley in south of France. This is called Fleur de Prairie, the prairie flowers. And it's a lovely looking bottle. Uh, I'll just look at my notes. It's eight pounds a bottle again, quite expensive for rosé. But it has got a really lovely, I want to say old lady's handbag nose to it. A little lily of the valley, a little bit floral, pink flowers. It's beautiful, beautiful on the nose, looks great. Yeah, it's, it's fresh and pretty and elegant and it looks fabulous. And I think for the kind of price that you don't, you know, eight quid, yeah, I'd buy that for eight quid. Look at the lovely bottle. Yeah, I mean, you could use that as a vase afterwards, couldn't you? What a smashing wine. And lastly, there's a lot of this about these days. Prosecco Rosé. This is 7.49 from their The Best range again. And again, it looks fabulous. Chill it well. Oh, and yeah, on the nose again, there's, there's some lovely floral elements to it. Mm. It does smell a bit like a flower shop. You know, you get a, a real sort of interesting smell in a flower shop. And it's dry and fresh and easy drinking. And again, at 7.49 for a beautiful bottle of Prosecco. Yeah, you could serve that all day long. Lovely party wine, super, super stuff. So there you go. This is my selection from Morrison's. Um, have a look on my website, thedrinker.co.uk. You can see all of my recommendations from all of their range at all of the different price points. And some of the older ones too that are on the, the YouTube uh, videos uh, past from Morrison's are still um, listed. So have a look back at those two. Um, give us a like, give us a follow, give us a share, spread the word. Let me know what you're drinking this summer. All of these will be listed in the little box underneath. And most importantly, have a lovely, lovely seasonal drinking. Cheers now.